2025 Earth Day is our power, our planet. So today, let's reflect, celebrate, and most importantly, recount ourselves to protecting this beautiful blue planet. To begin the auspicious event, please join me in inviting Professor Nilo Khan Man, Wadi Vice Chancellor, Sherry Sora Bhagat, Commissioner Secretary, Directorate of Science and Technology, Garment of Jammu and Kashmir, Professor M.S. Bhatt, Guest of Honor, Professor Parvez Ahmed, Dean Students Welfare, and Professor Jilani, Organizing Secretary of the program to the desk. Welcome to the desk. Please come to the desk. <clears throat> I would like to request Professor Parvez Ahmed, Dean Student Welfare, to formally welcome the guest. It's my privilege and honor to welcome you all to this Earth Day celebrations. It's a two-day celebrations. I welcome all of you. And it's my privilege and honor to welcome Professor Nilo Farkhan, Honorable Vice Chancellor, University of Kashmir, who is presiding over this inaugural function. I take this opportunity to welcome Shri Sura Bhagat, IES, Commissioner Secretary, JNK, Department of Science and Technology, with the additional charge of information technology. And then we have other faculty members from the university. And importantly, I would like to welcome all students who have come from different corners of the city, who have come from different schools. They are our guests today. Because, because when we basically say it's yours, it's mine, because importantly, we say it's ours. Earth is ours. It's neither mine, it's neither yours, it's ours. So importantly, we have something to for the future generations, and it's ultimately you who have to basically carry forward this, this torch. So importantly, we need to basically counsel, and we need to basically take on board the most important stakeholders that are our students. So thank you very much. We welcome you. I basically appreciate the school authorities, the teachers who are accompanying them. Thank you. I hope you will convey our regards and appreciation to all the schools, all the school in charge who have basically come with their students here. Thank you very much. To celebrate the Earth Day uh, is very important so that once again, uh, you know, uh, we make our youth aware what are our duties, how we can preserve the Mother Earth and how, what we can pass to our next generation, you know. For me, it's always a thought, what I will pass uh, to the next generation. So similarly, it should be a thought for our young minds sitting here, what we'll pass to the young generation. Uh, you know, uh, should we pass the good information that, uh, you know, Kashmir, uh, is such a uh, valley where we have so many people visiting to see its, uh, you know, uh, environments, to see its beauty, to see how the uh, Almighty has created this valley or uh, as human beings we have to spoil it, you know, uh, cut the trees, you know, not care about the Mother Earth. So definitely, first we need to be aware ourselves and definitely then you can First, start it from your home. You can start it from your own community, you know. Edu educate everyone. At least plant one tree. You can tell in your neighborhood, aap ek dark zarur lagaye. Agar har saal har koi ek ek dark lagayega, you'll see it will be a different place uh, to live in. And definitely we have to care. Aap ye dekhe, due to climatic change, के जो आसार अब हो रहे हैं हमारे यू नो माहौल पे हमारे एनवायरनमेंट दे आर डिजास्टर्स यू नो सो वी हैव टू डेफिनेटली टेक केयर ऑफ दैट एक्चुअली अर्थ डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड अक्रॉस द ग्लोब इन ऑल द कंट्रीज एट डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल स्टेट लेवल वार्ड लेवल विलेज लेवल in schools, universities, colleges, because there is a concern about the various hazards and problems that we are facing, that the earth is facing. When earth is facing, it means that humankind is facing such type of problems. Actually, this started in 1970. There was a senator whose name was Gary Lord Nelson from US, there was some 
oil spillage so and there was a at that time peak industrialization there in usa so they thought that okay industrialization is okay but it is at the cost of our environment our water bodies when there was a you know this oil spillage a lot of fish died a lot of fauna and flora has lost so this has formed a basis of the movement they started that movement and it has become now a global concern if you will see now that has led to the environmental protection agency so they have made a national environmental protection act and there is a, all those agreements that followed whether it is climate agreement paris agreement so all these agreements follow because of the movement of just from one person so he was a senator so he did that earth is wise enough to maintain its dynamic equilibrium he will allow you to just ponder upon your luxuries to a particular threshold limit beyond that he is going to rebound you in such a way that our destruction will be imminent so far as the human beings are concerned and that we are seeing so far as the different events are concerned whether those are the cyclonic events whether those are the different types of the disastrous events where we are i mean to say helpless and facing lot of losses in terms of the human casualties and in terms of the economic losses so we should be very much conscious of this fact that uh, in fact by our licentious lifestyle we are not going to destroy the earth but at the end of the day we are going to destroy ourselves as human beings if we will see that so far as the present theme of the energy is concerned a very pertinent theme because at the end of the day if you will see that the main driving force of this universe is the energy basically you talk of any human activity whether that is the industrial activity you talk of any economic activity in any form basically the main driver is the energy in what sort of form of life behind it the trigger is the energy energy moves everything whether that is your industrial activity whether those are your domestic activity energy in one form or the other is the main driving force and nowadays as we see that it is not the per capita income that we are measuring the development of the nations but it is the per capita energy consumption we measure the development of the nations and by virtue of this per capita consumption of the energy it has triggered differential consumptive styles in different societies if we are talking about the europe and the north america so far as this consumptive style is concerned which is being measured in the global hectares 1.5 to 1.7 per hectare per person now if this consumptive style of 1.5 hectares per person is to be maintained across the globe then we need as much as three such planets like earth to sustain this consumptive lifestyle that is huge and the problem has started as jilani sahab was quoting it has started with one of the important breakthroughs in the industrial history of the humans that is the great industrial revolution of 16th and 17th century especially after the invention of the steam engine that it has boosted the high rate of utilization of the different resources which are available on the surface of the earth and we are already in the fourth phase of the industrialization now what we are seeing that for the first time as humans we are observing the collective impact of this industrialization as human beings this collective impact of industrialization on the planet it has forced us to redefine our relationship with the earth if you see the map of the dal lake when india got independence 
and today it has shrunk uh, significantly and now we are trying to reclaim uh, back the uh, old size of the lake so therefore i think it's very important that this day this earth day is very very critical for all of us it includes uh, the idea to uh, educate people on climate change uh, on important issues like you know energy conservation uh, sustainable uh, energy solutions for the world uh, things like electronic vehicles and so on it also includes most importantly you are the client group the young people the youth because ultimately you are the future generation and uh, we have we the elders we owe this world to you <clears throat> our uh, forefathers ancestors gave us this world in a very uh, tip top kind of a shape but we ut utilized it and we exploited it <clears throat> and then ultimately uh, it is our responsibility to give you a very beautiful world which is sustainable now uh, various kinds of activities are held all over the country and all over the world on this day uh, major universities colleges schools uh, government institutions ngos united nations organizations etc they conduct a lot of awareness programs and i am very happy that the department of geography and earth sciences have joined hands today and they are conducting this program also not only this but uh, disaster management planning a uh, flood plain zoning all of which are very relevant to jammu kashmir uh, you know are are important from the government point of view in fact uh, i discussed with worthy vice chancellor before the event that uh, we are looking for about 20 uh, you know either um, young faculty or some scholars who who would like to participate with the <coughs> government of jnk uh, uh, in that collaboration so the bhaskachari institute uh, will take you to gujarat train you and then you will be utilized by the government of jnk for the next 10 to 15 years first and foremost i extend my deepest gratitude to our esteemed honorable vice chancellor professor nilofar khan ma'am for gracing this occasion and constantly supporting department of science earth sciences and other departments of university of kashmir for such initiatives a heartfelt thank you to shri sarabhagat sir commissioner secretary department of science and technology government of jammu and kashmir for presence and valuable insights to promote environmental awareness and sustainability for future i would like to thank professor m sultan bhat sir dean research university of kashmir professor jilani sir dean school of earth and environmental sciences and professor parvez ahmed sir dean students welfare for their active involvement and continuous support in making this event a success we are grateful to heads and faculty members from various departments of university of kashmir whose valuable participation enriched this event a big thank you to research scholars and master students from school of earth and environmental sciences i feel pleasure to thank young students from various schools of the valley for their participation in various activities of the event a special thanks to ministry of earth sciences government of india and university of kashmir for sponsoring and supporting this initiative we also express our appreciation to print and electronic media both from the university and outside university for covering this event and helping us to spread the message of earth day 2025 under the theme our power our planet